वेलकम बैक हिजाब अर्जी विवाद विचारण नड़ीत सदस्य पीठ दिन पूर्ण पीठ के केस वर्गवणे आगे हिजाब प्रकरण पूर्ण पीठ के वर्गवणे आगे याके संविधानिक बिकु हिन्दली सीजे पीठ के केस वर्गवणे आयता हिजाब बेगे देश नाना कॉर्टूव को बेरे बेरे प्रकरण केरल हईकोर्ट इबू मद्रा हईकोर्ट इबू बॉम्बे हईकोर्ट हिजाब बे तीर्पन को तीर्प प्रस्ताप कूड़ा हिजाब पर मत विरोध वकील अरे अर्जीदार पर वकील सरकार पर वकील प्रस्ताप निन्दार कर्नाटक हईकोर्ट आदेश देश के मादरिया पूर्ण पीठ के हिजाब केस वर्ग ऐक सदस्य पीठ न्यायमूर्ति कृष्ण एस दीक्षित पूर्ण पीठ के केस वर्गवणे वाद प्रतिवद स्टार्ट आगता जड्ज कंदे नन अना पूर्ण पीठ के वर्गवणे अंत अनिके ऐन अंत कर्जीदार पर वकील मत प्रतिवद इवत सरकारी पर वकील वंदे मतना अटीस्ट मध्यंतर आदेश को नम्बंत अन्स्ता बेरे पीठ के विचारण वर्गवणे याकंद्रे सूक्ष्म विचार बहुत गंभीर स्वरूप पड़क है राज्य किच्चन हचिद मकड़ शैक्षणिक बदकु हालाता है दिनित्य कॉलेज क्यांपस बंद गलाटे मेरा कॉर्ट न तीर्पिनता नोड़ता नमगेन समस्या ऐक सदस्य पीठदल आदेश बरली Ali, I'll come to you first. Uh, uh, the court ha has referred the case to a larger bench. How do you see the uh, court judgment for it? Yeah, of course. My, uh, my. So, like, yeah, of course. I have, uh, I have trust in my judiciary system. Like, I hope uh, our judge keep uh, constitution values in top and give judgment on that basis. And uh, hope they will get our rights and will get justice. Shifa, I want to understand first when the incident happened. Can you explain to us the timeline? What exactly happened? What the teacher said? What the principal said? The argument is that the dress code is there in place. It is you that who are violating the uh, violating the dress code. First, that argument. Uh, first of all, we are the not one who started this. Our seniors and super seniors you also used to wear the head scarf, but they didn't uh, made this big issue of their matter. Only they made our matter to be this much uh, like big issue. And one thing, this was not from us, not us who started this. This was our senior and super seniors who started this, and they used to treat so like they used to harass them, like they used to pull their scarf, they used to not concentrate on who them. Who used to pull their? Lecturers used to pull their scarves, and if they, the students, stand up and ask some questions, they used to ignore them. They used to not answer their questions. They used to give uh, the, like next level type of tortures to them. But whenever it comes to us, when we when we were like went inside the classroom wearing headscarf, one of a parent, one of I'm sorry, parent, a lecturer told that, "Will you go out of the class, or else shall I put push you out of the class?" When did this happen? When this happened, so we came out of the class. Then after this, our uh, like uh, when meeting held uh, between MLA and uh, parents, uh, all the at that time MLA gave a statement like, "No, we are we are not allowing you to wear this uh, headscarf." At at that time, he gave one statement like, "If your children wear the headscarf, tomorrow our students will wear the saffron shirt." There itself, it started communal. After the MLA gave that statement, soon after that, the next day, uh, it uh, it became communal. I can say uh, until that nobody had that mindset of doing this. After that, he told that statement. After that, everybody started doing this, wearing saffron shawl, all those things. Yeah. Until that, we didn't even meant to do the communal, but uh, MLA itself gave that statement, and he began there. How he started doing it communal, like uh, like Muslim or Hindu, he made it there itself. We are the not one who made this communal. So uh, Ali, I want to ask you. Yeah, you said that your uh, seniors had started the protest. When no, 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 no. super seniors, they were also wearing. Senior super seniors. Yeah. Yeah. They did not start protest. They were allowed inside the class. But when it, when it came to us, when it came to us, they they put us outside the class. They were allowed inside the class, but they were tortured. Inside the class, they used to pull their hijab. They used to ask. Uh, they used to not concentrate. If they ask any doubts, they used to not uh, solve their doubts. Uh, it was like they were. Allowed inside the class, they used to listen to the class. Allowed inside the class, they passed wearing hijab, 
but when it came to us they are not we are not loved inside the and class and also why do you think this is happening what are you i really i have no idea why this is happening but i hope we'll get justice soon okay this brings me to another question now uh you know uh, the argument put forth by your college authorities is that uh, earlier students were allowed to come wear hijab till the gate but as soon as you enter the class they used to remove the hijab and sit in a uniform dress code with the other students they are saying why is it that now the protests have started to uh, gr- blow up and yeah. and and uh, what exactly they are saying is that you are being instigated by a group of people so it's uh, actually i can say it did not started now it started now right now i am in 12th so when i was in 11th when i wore the hijab in 11th uh they they made same thing my seniors used to wear seniors used to wear inside the class and listen to the class wearing hijab okay but when i wore the hijab inside the class they asked me to remove it they forced me to remove it and they sent me out of the class because i did not remove my hijab they uh, forced me to uh, they put me outside the class and same thing happened so lockdown took place we could not solve the issue there and uh, in second place what happened is we sent our parents first to convince them to allow us to wear hijab because if i wore hijab and go to the college they would do same thing they would put me outside the class and they would not allow me to uh, listen to the class so what uh, our parents did is our parents sent us first to the our parents went first and uh, they spoke to our principal they tried to convince them uh, they tried to convince them and uh, like uh, yeah he did not listen our parents went more than 3 to 4 time to convince up uh, to convince our principal but they, he did not listen so later uh, what happened is our uh, parents said stop enough of convincing now let's you go wear hijab and i want to clear this thing one thing i want to clear is no one is forcing us to wear hijab it's my personal independent choice to wear hijab then why is it that the protests have sort of blown up to this extent now you are saying that this issue has been uh, since uh, since the last 2 years because you are in class 12 now you are saying that when you were in 11 it was happening during that time as well now why do you think that the issue has sort of blown up and why are these allegations coming that uh, earlier students would not wear hijab in the class we would allow them till the doorstep of the college but now the college authorities are saying that suddenly why are you wearing hijab in the col- uh, classes and sit it it is against the uniformity is what your college is saying uh first thing i want to say there is no such rule there is no such rule in our college which says that uniform is not allowed uh, sorry hijab is not allowed uh sorry i want to correct uh, which says uh, there is no such rule in our college or any circular which mentions hijab is not allowed when our seniors were uh, Uh, allowed to wear uh, but when it came to us we are not allowed we were thrown out of the class and no one is instigating us to wear this hijab it's my personal choice not even my parents are forcing me to wear this it's my personal choice and constitution allows me to wear this uh, practice my uh, religious right and i am uh, i want justice and i am going i'm not take i'm not going to take off my hijab why do you think girls started started suddenly wearing hijab in the class they were not wearing it earlier is no, one of the they were my seniors used to wear from starting to now they they passed out how, by way how many people are we talking about ha huh? how many my people? seniors i don't know the numbers but my seniors used to wear and and what about your classmates my classmates uh, we uh, two are wearing hijab and uh, other girls why they are not wearing is because uh, they are scared ma'am they are scared because uh, the way they are mentally harassing us the way they are torturing us the the way we are getting threatened uh, threats and uh, so because of that they are, they are not coming in front and, but we are standing in front and fighting for all of us you know the my last question ali i appreciate your patience uh, uh, cfi has been at the forefront of this process protest rather now uh, why did you approach cfi it is some it, it does not hold a good reputation allegedly according to the karnataka government this is not my words they are saying that they are instigating people we, so uh, they are associated with pfi and sdpi now how do you see this okay so what happened is when our parents came regularly to the college i think okay when our parents came regularly to the college and uh, uh, start convince uh, try to convince our uh, i can't speak ma'am hazan is going on sorry hey <laughs> 